the world has just recently lost Sir Twitch both husband, father, son, brother, entertainer, smile spreader. What happens when a person who seemingly has everything going for him decided to go to a hotel room alone and shoot a gun into his body? How can friends not know, not see? How can public see happy face and dancing on social media just a day before? What is it that we are actually not allowing ourselves to experience in the current society? What kind of society do we have where people, especially those who are considered to be influencers and thought leaders and role models, feel such a enormous pressure that they don't allow themselves to truly express how they feel inside, show their feelings, share their thoughts. It is a truly tragedy. He is not the first one to leave us, probably not the last one who would do something like this. And yet at the same time, it is a reminder and wake-up call to all of us who are still here. We need to change things. If people who are viewed to be the brightest, the the most successful one, the loveliest, the happiest, the ones who seemingly have everything going for them. If these people decide to take their lives to commit suicide, then what is left for the rest of the society? Where is the hope? And I can share from my own perspective, from my own story, not so long ago, just 10 years ago, seven, five, I still had those thoughts in my mind and was truly considering that maybe suicide is an option. Maybe um, this world is not for me. Maybe I don't fit. Maybe the pain is too strong and I can't handle it. Maybe it's an easy way out. And it was truly uh, the grace of people who know me well, close friends, mentors, family, with whom I would have a clear and transparent relationship and enough safety to have this kind of conversation. What to do when you are struggling? what to do when you feel you're in a black hole and you just cannot pull yourself out by yourself no matter how strong other people think that you are and it's a scary scary place to be especially if you're a public figure especially if your life is about making other people happy or making other people feel good or bringing harmony and well-being to others then there is this highly unrealistic expectation that you out of all people must always have everything together in your head in your heart and in your life and no human can it is just not possible we are all prone to ups and downs, everyone has good day, bad day, okay day. I remember it reminds me similar when I was very early as a teenager in the modeling industry and in those days there was an expectation for models or when people knew that you are a model to 
always look in real daily life the way you look after photoshops and after professional photo shoots and there was a tremendous pressure how i felt as a teenager being um, very anxious about something on the skin that was not even or messy hair and somehow feeling that I have to be perfect all the time and so similar with any other role when you're in public eye there is this tremendous pressure that you have to be perfect that you cannot make mistakes and that's that's a road that leads to nowhere because no human being can fulfill those shoes and twitch is one of the examples we saw several before brilliant bright famous people that the world has loved family has loved would just out of nowhere in their lives and everyone would be crying and asking themselves why why did that happen I don't know I remember even in my life in my very early 20s one of my friends a beautiful model committed suicide jumping from very high building in New York and I just spoke with him three days before that happened and I remember as a friend you keep rolling in your head and asking how could I have not seen it coming how could I have not sensed that the person was struggling what is it that I missed and the reality is it is the person who is struggling it is the person who is in pain needs to realize that suicide is not an option it is never is as one of my friends and teachers used to say it is a permanent solution to a temporary problem and what needs to be done is deep healing conversation with a mentor with a professional someone who understands how to go through dark patches in our lives and there are plenty of people like this in the world who dedicated their entire lives to help human beings to go through dark aspects of ourselves and all that I know about human development and evolution that the only way through darkness and through pain is when you're literally going through it every time when we try to numb it to go around it to use things like drugs, sex, alcohol, gambling, parties even spirituality it's not helping it's just prolonging the pain it's giving us this illusion that somehow we are dealing with that even though we are not because to deal with real pain requires tremendous courage and it is understandable that ego is afraid of that and doesn't want to look at the pain and that's where the compassion comes in self-compassion love towards the self understanding how sacred the body is and body never wants to die prematurely body wants to live and that's why it's so important to ask for help so if you are just listening right now to this episode and you're feeling pain you're feeling distress you're feeling anxiety panic depression anything that throws you out of balance please 
ask for help. Reach out. Talk to your family members. Open up. Tell them how you really feel. You don't need to be that strong finger in the eyes of everyone. Reach out and talk to friends. Allow them to help you. Reach out to professionals. Surrender to the professional guidance. You are here for a reason and the world needs your gift. We all need your gift. And in the darkest, darkest, darkest moments of your life, please remember that you are loved, you are lovable, you are loving, and fundamentally, deep inside of your being, you are love. And now, let's take a deep breath all together. And I invite you to spend a moment with yourself in silence, connecting with your own soul, your own being. 